Welcome to Keep Up With Live, the place where we make delicious paleo recipes and discuss how the ingredients can benefit your health. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you some healthy ideas for dinner that are easy to make, delicious, and you are going to love them. So the first dinner we're making are these squash boats. So I'm using a delicata squash here, but you can definitely use any kind of squash that you find at your grocery store, whether that's butternut or acorn or even honey nut. So go ahead and cut it in half and just scrape out any seeds that might be in your squash. And the great thing about consuming squash is not only is it in season, but all those wonderful colors, all that orange is loaded with beta carotene. And that really not only helps to support your immune system, but really helps to support your eyes as well. So then scoop out all of the seeds and lay that on a baking sheet. Now, depending on what squash you use, your baking time will vary. So you might want to prep these in advance. I find they take about 30 minutes. So then while that's in the oven, I'm heating a pan to medium heat and I'm adding in some ground turkey. Now you can do any kind of protein you want here. You can even do ground chicken or some grass fed beef. I'm taking this Simply Organic seasoning. It's just my go-to seasoning because it has a bunch of things in it so it makes it really easy. Grinding that on top and we're gonna brown it until all of it is cooked. Especially with turkey and chicken, you wanna make sure it's cooked all the way through. So once that's done and that's nice and brown, we can go ahead and add in some sauce. So this is one of my tricks. Not all of us have time to make homemade sauce all the time. So just having jars on hand, you just combine the sauce, which has all of the spices, everything you need in it with the meat and you're kind of like good to go. So it just makes it really quick and easy. If you're like me, you don't have a lot of time to make dinner. Stir that together until it's nice and warm. And then once your squash is done, you can go ahead and fill the middle with your ground turkey or chicken or whatever protein you are using. And then if you want, you can add on top some dairy-free cheese. I kind of, I do this if I have some on hand, but if you don't have some on hand, don't worry. It still tastes delicious either way. And the warmth of the ground turkey with the tomato kind of melts the cheese on top but you could definitely pop it back in your oven if you wanna broil it for a couple minutes until it gets bubbly. But this is honestly such an easy and delicious dinner that you can meal prep in advance too because you can make a batch of it and it's gonna be easy to grab at night. Next up, we're making a roasted veggie bowl. So I'm starting off by chopping up some zucchini. And with all of these veggies, you can definitely switch it up for whatever veggie that you like most. So don't feel like you have to do the exact same ones that I do. It's kind of just the premise of creating a sheet pan meal. It's really easy because we're gonna be throwing everything onto one pan and then putting it in the oven and you're gonna be good to go. So there's not a lot of cleanup. I don't know about you, but I hate cleanup. And then I'm chopping up some red onion loaded with great things for you. Onion is another great thing to consume in the fall and the winter time. And to slice it up easily, I just make slits down the side and then I turn it sideways and chop it again the other way. So this is a really quick and easy way to chop any kind of onion. So go ahead and break those up and lay that on to your baking sheet with some parchment paper or just make sure that you grease it well because we don't want it to stick. So then I'm also laying on some mushrooms. Mushrooms are loaded with what we call beta-glucans, so they're really good for your gut. And I like loading this tray with many different kinds of veggies because all the different veggies and all the different colors have different great things for you. So these are some root vegetables that I found on sale. It was a mix of parsnip and sweet potato and butternut. And all of these, all these orange colors are loaded with beta carotene. And beta carotene is good for your immune system, but it's also good for your eyes. So we really want to support all of the different things in our body. So choosing different vegetables with different colors, is really going to help us do that. So then for my protein, I'm just using chicken thighs. I finally have more flavor than your chicken breast, laying that on the side. And then I'm going to spray everything with a little bit of avocado oil, just so that everything really sticks. And avocado oil is also something good to use that has a higher smoke point. So it's good to use if you're using a smoke point over about 350. For my seasoning, I'm choosing Zatara seasoning. I really like this, but you can definitely use whatever kind of seasoning is your favorite. You can even just do salt and pepper and keep it simple. You could do garlic, Italian, Greek, but I like kind of just buying mixes like this to kind of experiment at my local grocery store and try kind of some different flavors. So once you pop that in the oven, everything gets cooked and you have this wonderfully easy dinner full of vegetables and 
good for you protein. So then for the base, I always like to start off with a handful of greens just to really make sure that I'm getting those nutrients in. And I find with greens, the darker color, the better. So if you can go for something like spinach or arugula, that's gonna have more nutrients in it than for example, an iceberg or a romaine. So if you can, I would choose that or even just do a mix of 50-50. And then I'm just loading everything on the top. And the great thing about this is that obviously this pan makes enough for more than one meal. So even if you wanted to take leftovers for lunch today, this is a great thing to kind of have for dinner. And then that way you have lunch to take the next day to school or to work. And you have all these wonderfully flavorful veggies. They're gonna be good for your body and also taste good too. And then we are making a tuna rice bowl. So I'm using some tuna, but you can use your favorite kind of fish. What I like to do is I like to buy things on sale and this week I found tuna on sale as opposed to salmon and tuna is honestly so delicious. It's loaded with what is called vitamin B6 and B6 not only supports many different like reactions in your body in order to make amino acids and things like that, but B6 is also really good for energy. So we need energy to get through our days and we don't want to be deficient in B6. So what I do is I sear my tuna for about a minute, a minute 30 on each side and then I take it off to rest while I'll make the rest of it so I'm using some broccoli rice mainly because they were out of cauliflower rice and broccoli is really good it's what has i3c in it or indol 3 carbonyl which really helps to balance your hormones so if you're someone that struggles with that loading up on broccoli is gonna be really great for you and my secret to making very very delicious whether it's broccoli or cauliflower rice is adding in a teaspoon of ghee and this one is specifically garlic flavored and just really helps to make it nice and fluffy so while that is cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up my tuna to eat on top. I just find it's easier to slice it so that I can eat it, but you can definitely put the full thing on the top. And I like to have mine on the more rare side, but definitely cook it to your preference. If you are gonna be eating rare though, you do wanna make sure that you're buying a good grade of fish and tuna. Depending on where you are, that might be called different things. Um, where I buy it, it's sashimi grade so that you can eat it uh, raw in the middle, but depending on where you are or depending on whatever fish you have. So once that's done, I'm adding in some cilantro and some lime to kind of make like a cilantro lime broccoli rice. This is honestly full of so much flavor. You're gonna love this. And the addition of the fresh herbs honestly really elevates an otherwise just like cooked broccoli rice. So stir that together and the heat of the rice is going to kind of wilt down that cilantro. And then I'm going to be adding that into my bowl. And this is also something, if you wanted to make the whole package of your, you know, your broccoli rice or your cauliflower rice, it's good to have on hand for many different meals throughout the day and throughout the week. And then I'm gonna be adding my fish on the top. Like I said, you can do any kind of fish here. Halibut would be good, tilapia. But fish is good because it's full of omega-3s and a lot of people don't actually eat enough fish and they're not getting all those beneficial nutrients. For some healthy fats, I'm adding in some avocado on the top, which really goes well with almost any kind of fish. And then for a little bit more crunch, I'm putting on some sesame seeds. So it just really kind of brings the whole dish together and really works well with the rice, the tuna, and the avocado. But this is definitely a more of a special bowl that I really like to make and it cooks very quick. You're gonna love all of these healthy dinner recipes. They're easy, quick, and of course delicious. I'm gonna leave my healthy dinner playlist right here so you can get lots more inspiration and recipes because eating healthy is really easy and delicious and I'm sharing all my yummy recipes there. So check that out and make sure you subscribe because in my next video, I'm going to be sharing with you a delicious, healthy chili recipe. It's cozy, yummy, paleo, gluten-free, but tastes so good, especially on like colder days and getting into the winter months. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.